when you stay with the breath, it's like medicine for the mind. The mind has its diseases. We're not talking about crazy people diseases. We're talking about the normal craziness of human beings, with our greed, aversion, and delusion. Every time you let these things take over the mind, they, they weaken it. They weaken your understanding, they weaken your ability to see what's going on, your powers of observation. And so as you're clearing up the disease, you're also just clearing up the mind, all of its dark spots, all of its blind spots. You stay with the breath, and it's a simple exercise, but it takes a lot of time and practice so you can do it well. In other words, if you see the mind wandering away from the breath, you just bring it right back. You're keeping watch over the movements of the mind. All too often we're more interested in the products, what kind of thoughts the mind comes out with. We don't look at the process that goes into making those thoughts. So this is a good chance for you to see that. And she's saying, well, this is how the mind drops one idea and moves on to another one. And these are the stages. And this is how, if you realize that some mind's going in a direction you don't want it to go, this is how you can turn it around. When you can see the processes of the mind like this, and things get cleared up, because then the mind isn't, doesn't create all the things that used to cloud it, used to make it dark. It doesn't create any more of these diseases for itself. We're concerned about the diseases we pick up from other people, but the, the diseases we've got in our mind already, they're, they're a lot worse. So you want to take care of those. Look after the state of the mind. And watch what it's doing, because how it reacts to things, how it reacts to sights, sounds, smells, tastes, tactile sensations, and ideas, and how it cre fashions these things. That's where the mind suffers, because it's doing this in ignorance. So sometimes you do things well, and sometimes you don't do things well, but you don't really know because you're not really watching carefully. So meditation gives you an opportunity to watch carefully what the mind is doing what it's holding on to, what it needs to let go of. This way you bring the mind to health, a state of well-being where it's very clear about what it's doing. And it's not causing itself any suffering, it's not causing anybody else any suffering. That's the kind of health we're looking for. As for the body, it, it's going to get old someday and it's going to die. And some, some of us it's not just someday, it's already here, the getting old and the getting sick. But the mind doesn't have to get old and doesn't have to get sick and it doesn't have to die along with the body. So make sure you take really good care of the mind, because that's the most important thing you've got. 